Uh, very good morning to one and all. Our Alivine already made up told that uh, he is the CEO and director of London GSE Private Limited. He is passed out in 2001. That means 16 years back. I will just read out his education. He is passed out his degree in BE Mechanical in 2001 batch. He was associated with the other activities, co-curricular as well as curricular, like MESA, SAE. Then he has completed his SSC from Dominic Soy High School, 92-97. After that, he has worked as a part of founding team of the College Station Chapter. He initiated a funding scheme for a small village in a remote Maharashtra, and there was a support to do micro hydro project for the power in the village. Then the village was dark now as light. Visited there for three days and also did Shramadan as a voluntary labor. After doing his B, he has completed his mechanical engineering, a master's in mechanical engineering and work as a research assistant to Dr. Louis San Enro in the tribology lab and after he has uh, and presently he is working as a CEO and director of Nandan GEC Pratt. He is doing expertise in mechanical as well as the hydraulic design and heading 350 members. He is doing also expertise in ERP and CRM customer customs. So this is a brief introduction about our alumni. Thank you. Now I request Mr. Raghunandan Jagdish to share his experience with KJC. Very good morning, everybody. Good morning. Can't hear you. Very good morning, everybody. Good morning. Still not enough. You guys are mechanical engineers. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. That's something like it. Uh, way back in 1997, I entered just like you guys uh, as a rookie to be mechanical engineer. Of course, when somebody says he's entering a college to be a mechanical engineer, there's no guarantee. You'll pass out as one. So you do enter in as wanting to be a mechanical engineer. I was exactly in that role. Uh, to be very honest, I was trying to rack my brains on how my orientation was on the first day of college. I could not really remember. So in a way, you guys are uh, lucky that in 2016, you are joining in one of the best uh, mechanical engineering colleges around Bombay. I want to give each one of you a round of applause for yourself, for the hard work you've done. You got through your 12th, you got through whatever it takes to get here. So please applaud yourselves. <laughs> Louder. Come on, get some energy in. Good. Good. Secondly, also for your parents who have, you know, sacrificed a lot to make sure that you entered this room in today's date and age. Uh, it's a privilege that has been granted on you. It's not your right. So please give a round of applause to your parents too and your family. Well, uh, thank you for having me here. Uh, it feels uh, nice to be addressing uh, students this way. And uh, it was nice to see Sir uh, describe me with my background, with emphasis on the Shramdan and etc. To be, to be honest, it's the first time I ever heard it from somebody else. And uh, that's where it is. A very quick brief, just to reiterate uh, what, what I did. Passed out in 2001 from uh, KJ Somaya College of Engineering. Uh, we had a, like a register at that time. During my graduation, he told me I passed out with a dual degree, uh, mechanical engineering and extracurricular activities. Mm -hmm. So, and I think both have equally done benefit to me over my like life of 19 years that I've been into the college. Then I went over to the US, did my master's in mechanical engineering there, studied at uh, Texas A&M, and then came back in 2003. And today we have an industry called 
Nandan GSE Private Limited. Uh, we, we say we proudly make in India and deliver worldwide. Uh, we are one of those where Modi refers to as saying make in India, yes. We do a lot of exciting things that includes uh, lifting food for the planes, lifting nuclear missiles, lifting cars, anything that's got to do lifting, we do that. And uh, one of the, uh, the core co things in a company that we do is design. And thanks Professor Chandrasekhar and Professor Busnur and all the other professors, we've had who imparted those skills. Professor Gangradi too. Uh, we've, so when you study, this is your first year, uh, do you know the full forms of FE, SE, T and B? Does everybody know? Can one of the guys tell me? No, I'm not asking you sir, you are already experienced. <laughs> FE, what's the full form? First year. Okay, first, uh, first year engineering. SE? Second year. Okay, third, T? Third. third. And B? Okay. During our time, the you know acronym was a little different. FE was fresh to engineering. SE is sick of engineering. T is tired of engineering. And B, I don't want to talk about it here. This is uh, so my <laughs> We'll keep to the decorum, but I'm sure all of you guys know what it is. But uh, coming back, uh, it's a journey. What you start today is a journey. And it's a journey that nobody defines. Neither your professors, nor your parents, nor your peers. There is no guarantee that what somebody has done a year ago, you will be repeating that. It's a journey that you are embarking on today and this can take you anywhere. So you are you are wanting to be a mechanical engineer today and I'm sure you've taken this decision not because you got that you know rank in uh, your admission process or whatever. Unless you want that desire to create something, unless you want that essence of being a mechanical engineer, you'll find it tough. I'll be very, very frank with you. The faster you get your interest in, the more you'll enjoy it. And uh, you've been lucky that you have a movie called Three Idiots, where, uh, you know, Amir Khan could be your epitome role model of what a mechanical engineer should be all about. We never had those things. You're lucky that in today's date and age, you have information technology on your side. Anything you want is accessible by you within minutes or seconds. We used to take days to do what you would now today do in minutes. So that's something that you're very, very uh, you know privileged with. But at the same time, uh, this also gives you a lot of distractions. It takes away a lot of your time. It takes away a lot of your mental bandwidth and effort. These, I mean, end of the day when people say they manage time, is that true what people are talking about? I don't think so. You cannot manage time. The one second ticks the same, whether it's for Bill Gates or whether it's for beggar who's sitting on the street. What you need to do is manage yourself. Within the 24 hours you have, how you manage is the way you take it to success. You might read about maybe thousands of successes that you heard about in industry, in uh, like, you know, you would talk about people who've done PhD research, but to those thousands, there are millions of people who have failed. That's also something that you learn. There's learning in every day of your life. The more you take it with that, the more will be, you know, your own success. Number three is uh, taking care of your own environment and your community. End of the day, you have been born into a community that's, let's say, India, at the broadest sense or where you're staying, in the narrowest sense. Taking care of community is something that's very, very important to you. This is also the time where you can give excuses saying, I don't have time from studies, I can't do anything else. But at the end of the day, if you're spending one hour on Facebook, you're lying. What is a priority to you is something that you need to gauge. What you need to spend time on is something that you need to gauge. Whether you want to read a research paper, or whether you want to read the newspaper, or whether you want to read the latest Archie's comics. It's a choice you make. Do remember the choices you make are going to determine what you are going to be for the rest of your life. Each and every decision you make, you can never roll that back. You can only take a compromise forward. Whatever decision you make today is going to impact your tomorrow. Nobody says if you make a wrong decision today, you can of course do things tomorrow. Because, But the best part is, as a human being, you are given the choice. You are given the choice to make the decision of what you want to do. right? Whether you want to study, whether you want to like have a good time or not. Also, I mean, at the, uh, you know, I'm not too sure the professors like it or not. I will definitely, definitely recommend you to do as many extracurricular activities as you can 
within the limited time that you have within the school. This includes writing papers, going for you know different kinds of tech fests, or even enjoying yourself into the various social fests that are done. But uh, that's again, you need to do it in measured ways so that at the time when you finish and come to your exams, your mark sheets are something like that's your gate entry card. Unless you have that, you won't go to the next step forward. But my mark sheet, what I did like 19 years ago or 16 years ago, is not really helping me in any way today, in today's context. But step by step, yes, definitely, that was the reason why somebody would take you on if you want to go for a job. Somebody would look at the mark sheet first, filter you, then they would start talking to you. Whether you're capable for the job, whether you're technically capable, whether you just pirated your entire books and you know went and wrote your exam, that is the second step. And just to again give you the uh, statistics, I don't know if there's a formal study done here in Somaya or not, but it's always seen that the guys who are in the middle always shine out the best. It's never your top rankers or your bottom rankers who are you know, doing this. The guys in the middle who are doing everything, they are the ones who will really shine on in life, whatever you might say. So I think a good idea would be to delegate to make some statistics or the other saying what kind of percentage did people pass out in B and what they are today. And if you break it up into brackets, I can assure you people who are CEOs today are not necessarily the first three rankers of every class. I'm not saying that you should not put the effort or not, but like Amir Khan said in the movie Three Idiots, don't do it because your exams demand it, do it because you love it. That's the only way that you will enjoy doing what you have. You will take your concepts to heart, you will definitely do well in your exams. I mean. Uh, there's another thing, I, I, I probably feel that I became an engineer in 8 months. One month before every semester, used to <laughs> stop all things and just study. But it doesn't mean that the other times we used to not do that. Whenever we were part of the class, get involved into projects, get involved into like papers, do a lot of reading. Today, earlier days when we wanted to get one paper, it was a very, very difficult job. We had to go actually sit down into the library, find the book, get it out, see what it is. To even Xerox from the book, it used to be a process. We had to write and give an application for that. Today, any paper you want, whether it is how a rocket ship is launched to how a motor car was made in 1901, you have access to everything. But at the same time, do remember, what you read is not the truth. Do your own judicious judgment before accepting it as a fact. Because internet is so easy to publish, internet is so easy to write, tomorrow anybody can write anything. But that's not necessarily the truth. Always, that's the reason why the essence of everything in life is to be a researcher. You need to be a seeker because you'll get the answers if you ask the questions. That's true for everything, you know. So like Paulo Coelho told in the book The Alchemist that when you want something really with your heart and you want it hard, the universe will conspire in different ways to make you get it. Shah Rukh Khan of course used it in Bollywood to his own effect but that's absolutely the truth. That something that you want with a great desire in your heart, the universe will find out ways in which you know it can give it to you. So keep seeking on an everyday basis. <coughs> Begin your day in the morning by saying, you know, what more can I do today? What can I do different today that I didn't do yesterday? That applies to your studies, that applies to anything else. Because it is very easy to get like you know swept up into the social uh, media revolution. They call it revolution. But I don't think so because uh, there was one interactive session. I was with Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook, and uh, one of the questions he's talking about is we'll have autonomous cars, we'll have you know drones delivering things to everybody, and we'll have automated factories where people will do robo. You know the robots will actually manufacture everything. So the question we had for him was, what will people do? If you if you leave it to him, he wants you to sit and surf on Facebook the whole day. But that is not the essence of what your life is all about. Your life essence is to create those things like they say, the autonomous or whatever. So today if there are like a million workers working in a factory and tomorrow let's say there are 100 engineers make one robot and that one robot is going to displace those 100 million people. So unless you are part of that niche people who are creating those robots, who are creating those technologies, who are creating those systems, you will fall back. You will, you will just be like the next MBA who is around who's done an MBA but who's doing a job which even a 12th standard pass could do. Is that something what you want to do out of your life? Or you want to do something more? 
life is definitely a race but the more you start running with that then they call it a rat race to participate you need to be a rat is that what you want to do out of your life or you want to live your life like a journey you don't know what you'll turn out to be and you don't know what will finally end up like what you'll finally you know end up into your lives there have been lots of success stories that you hear about people go for you know like the guy of uh, the founder of whatsapp he went for an interview with yahoo and facebook and he was turned down but he turned that adversity into his benefit he created whatsapp which he sold back to facebook at 19 billion dollars i mean and today what are we like what what is yahoo doing it sold itself for 5 billion dollars over to microsoft so the world changes in no time and with it today that's the thing and being a mechanical engineer is an awesome profession not because i am a mechanical engineer myself but it's also because it gives you access to learnability that's a word that if somebody asks you being a mechanical engineer what is your number one trait i think you should proudly stand up and say i have learnability that's what i am proud of after you know four years of the grind being a mechanical engineer doing i i won't disclose all our trade secrets because i'm already getting daggers here but i'm sure you'll you'll know what does gt mean what does other things mean <laughs> so oh glass faces eliminated oh damn in our olden days when we used to have drawings we used to take somebody else's drawing keep it on a glass and trace it out so it used to be called glass trace now it's only autocad good good and some of our heroes used to even glass trace the names and whenever we used to go to chandrashekar sir to check he used to first turn the page around see if there are black pencil marks then he used to ask kiska paper hai chalo uska pehla check kar lega so those are all things which will give you memories of growing up with your engineering or whatever savor all of these because once you get down into the real world after your b whatever else you do is in a way this is also the real world but you are very very guarded you are protected you are shielded you still have your parents you have your support system in terms of your family and everybody else you have your friends you have your professors this is your support system today when you get down into the real world when you start doing higher education or when you start working or maybe you turn out to be an entrepreneur so those are going to be the days where it's really going to test what you're made of inside because it's going to be lonely you're going to be alone just remember you came into the world what were you doing you were crying everybody else was laughing right when you were born when you die the aim of yours should be you should go laughing and the whole world should cry that's my little talk to you whatever it was i'm free to take a few questions if i have a little time but uh, this is more i mean i didn't i'm not here to teach you technicality of a mechanical engineering or whatever because then i would intrude upon territory what the professors are well known for i just wanted to give you a flavor and a context of what you should you know look at with an open mind unlock your mind and you will do wonders if you just remain limited to the curriculum or the syllabus you might shine well in your academics but in the long term in life it will only limit you to that much so and there are a lot of things you can do in terms of extra curricular that's part of you know round about what you're doing um, i was the like what do you call it uh, general secretary of a student council when i was part of college i we founded something called misa mechanical engineers students association yeah of course that's why i said found it i do check up we started with a technical festival called abhiyantriki we raised symphony to a different standards and today when i go and talk about multi crore deals or when i talk to a customer in the us or when i sit across ratan tata and speak to him all the confidence all the leadership all the lessons that i learned you know when i was in college helped me out i wouldn't be able to pinpoint and say but then end of the day it becomes a way of your life there's another three words that you know will rule everybody's life that is way of working everybody has a certain way of working if you are creative and every day you design a new way of working you will soon burn out but make a way of working for your own life w o w that's called and the moment you do that the moment you have a certain way in which you begin your day you go through the day you finish your day it will take you time experiment do not get fixed to the first one you have they say that anything you repeat for 21 days becomes your habit again in uh, hindu mythology it's called the 21 day dinacharya something that you repeat again and again becomes a habit and habits are something that will take you through life whether it's waking up at 5 o'clock and studying for 2 hours or whether it's waking up at 5 o'clock and meditating or walking 
once it will take you 21 days it will take you effort to do it the 22nd day it will happen just like that automatically so these are the best days for you to do make your habits and i'm saying this not because i have done that when i was you know a student just like you i made the same mistakes that maybe everybody else had at my time but i learned from them and here i feel it is my duty to now pass on those lessons i have learned over to you guys the faster you make your lessons the faster you make your way of working and your habits the better successful you will be not just in academics marks for i hear that is definitely there marks will automatically come so whether you need to do a like you know your be out here or after that you want to do your masters your phd your mba whatever else you want to do in life it will come but remember do not stop learning till the day you are dead i have in my calendar every day one hour where i study things which i am not doing today so that's when like uh, we are doing nothing to do with drones or carbon composites or whatever but my 5 to 6 am is always kept for those things we call them esoteric there i don't know when it will be useful but i'm interested so i would read about things i would look at videos i would read papers even today i don't need to as a ceo of my organization i don't need to i am the boss i am answerable to nobody but i do it out of interest and some time later i'm sure when i'm let's say in a meeting or an opportunity for something this will come up and by then it's something that's not new to me something that i have already seen that something that's already filed in some way of my rom you know and it will get any time i can just recover it then at that time you can do great things so i'd like to end you with a quote that drives my life from my there are two great heroes that in fact three sorry who i always look up to in my life one of them is of course ratan tata i had the privilege of meeting him n number of times because i also done the car parking system for his house and uh, i can proudly say i can go to his house any time i want the second is elon musk he is like the real world iron man that you see in the movies uh he is again somebody you should really look as a mechanical engineer you will find yourself inspired like hell when like the government is shooting rockets he talks about wanting to shoot, shoot rockets into space by his own money when the world is talking about you know reducing of emission gases he is talking about doing an all electric car going at 250 km an hour so these are the things that elon musk has done and the third is richard branson he is of course not an engineer but if you have lessons to learn from a 12th grade dropout that is him i'm telling you read as many books of richard branson as you can there's a quote that drives me in my entire life when someone offers you an opportunity that you don't know anything about say yes and then find ways in which you can do it this if you understand what it means you will realize that that's a life changer for you it's a paradigm shift for you i will leave you to do your own discovering thank you very much and welcome to kg somaya college of engineering the mechanical class of 2020 so hopefully oh, 16 the came we should 2020 hopefully all of you will leave this college four years no 16 plus 4 okay all the best to you any questions i'm free to take maybe one or two minutes there any questions questions any we have sessions look Thank you very much Mr Jagdish and thanks a lot for your informative